One of the things you might notice if you go into your high street chemist looking for sunscreen with the hopes maybe that there'll be a bit of sun is that if you start looking at the ingredients list, you'll find that lots of them are filled with a tremendous number of chemicals. There are challenges with this because unfortunately, there are significant concerns associated with these chemical sunscreens. In terms of coral bleaching, actually it's some of the same chemicals that are the problem. And so when you're thinking of that holiday spot you go to and you're swimming and snorkeling, looking at the gorgeous coral reefs and their colors, actually the sunscreen, those chemical sunscreens you put on your skin are damaging that beautiful environment you've gone to visit and enjoy. If you look hard enough, you will find alternatives. Um, you'll find alternatives called mineral-based sunscreens, and they basically have a primary ingredient, which is either zinc oxide or titanium dioxide or both. And they offer a safer alternative, both to the marine environment and for your body. But right now, the biggest issue is that those ingredients and those types of sunscreens cost a lot more. And so zinc oxide right now, the manufacturing process isn't particularly sustainable. What we're working on is actually zinc oxide, so that active ingredient, the thing in sunscreens, mineral-based sunscreens, that is making them work. Our product uses this really sustainable green method that allows us to generate a better quality zinc oxide at a lower price point, making it competitive. And on top of that, the process that we're using is sustainable. The environmental benefits, um, I think, are really far-reaching and you start with the fact that we can use recycled zinc in our process. So that means that we don't have to use new or mined zinc, which is great. We're again talking about how can we reuse. And then what's really cool is then we put it through this process that's low waste, virtually no CO2 emissions and low energy. So we're actually really hopeful that while I'm here telling you about sunscreen, actually our process for making zinc oxide could also be deployed for tires, batteries, paints, other personal care products, your moisturizers and your concealers, a lot of them also have zinc oxide in. So it's about seeing the big picture and that's, that's what we're trying to do.